And so your job is to help them discover who God has made them, what he has called them to do, and equip them and free them to do that. Help your children discover and pursue their gifts, talents, and interests. And so a couple of good points here. Number one is, again, to point out that all of our kids are different. Yeah. And so there's no cookie cutter method that, you know, discipline isn't the same for all the kids. Uh, they respond in different ways. Discipleship isn't the same for all the kids. Their learning styles are different. You know, all of that whole discussion, which is so important that we have often in the homeschool world. Um, but if you want them to be self-motivated and you want them to pursue God's call on their life, then you have to help them tune in to how he made them. He made them with certain yeah. temperaments and personalities. If they're believers, he's gifted them with a specific or specific gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, they have abilities naturally, right? Whether mm -hmm. that's music or sports or different kinds of, of intelligence that they have. And so your job is to help them discover who God has made them, what he has called them to do and equip them and free them to do that. Yeah. Not what you want them to do, not what you expect them to do, not what the other kid did. And as you do that, then they are really motivated, yeah. right? And, and that's the whole idea, like with school, um, homeschooling gives you the opportunity to say, what do you want to study? Mm -hmm. Like, what's interesting to you? Like, yes, you have to learn how to write and do math, but you can do that while you study a lot of different kinds of subjects. Yeah. And you can study history while you're studying a particular topic. And so giving them that freedom and that motivation to say, what, what is it that God's put in your heart? You know, um, it's a really exciting part of helping them become self-motivated and helping them to follow Christ and fulfill whatever his calling is for them.